What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. And for the past five years, I've been trying to find a soundbar for my living room. Now I know some of you are probably like, why would you buy a soundbar instead of speakers? But the challenge is that I need something that can fit on my mantle since my wife doesn't want to see speakers or wires. The only thing I ever found that seemed like it would work is the Sennheiser Ambio, which I had the opportunity to hear at CES, but priced at $2,500, it wasn't gonna happen. Well, right when I gave up hope, I got an email from a company called Enclave Audio asking if I was interested in reviewing their soundbar killer. Now I get a lot of emails from companies making crazy claims, but after a little bit of research, I figured what the heck, let's see if this thing is legit. Now, before I get into this review, you guys know I only do honest reviews here. Enclave is not paying me for this review and all the thoughts and comments in this video are my own. So this is the Enclave Audio Cine Home Pro, a 5.1 channel wireless home theater system. And it's the world's first WISA compatible THX certified system. And if you've never heard of WISA, it stands for wireless speaker and audio. So this is clearly not a soundbar, but it does have a sleek minimalist design that's very similar to a soundbar. It comes with six separate speakers, which of course includes your center channel, two front channels, two surrounds, and a subwoofer. It also comes with a small hub that connects to your TV, as well as power cords for each speaker and an HDMI cable, since of course that's the best way to connect it. And speaking of HDMI, it supports not only ARC, but it also supports eARC through HDMI. It also has Toslink, optical, analog stereo, and Bluetooth 5.0. And what's really cool about this system is that the speakers are completely wireless to the hub so you can hide your hub behind your TV and you don't have to worry about running speaker wires. Now notice I made no mention of a remote and that's because the system doesn't come with one. Now to be fair, it does support HDMI CEC and even has its own app, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So as you can see, all the speakers look very similar and each of them is labeled on the back for that specific reason. So the center and front channels are identical with each speaker measuring about two feet wide and weighing around seven pounds. And the surround speakers are slightly smaller and just under five pounds. And this system includes a pretty hefty subwoofer weighing nearly 27 pounds with a 10 inch front firing driver. So of course speaker design is always very subjective, but I kinda like this setup. The finish is nice and they feel like high quality speakers. It's almost like setting up five small sound bars around your room, which is an interesting concept. And the cool part about them being completely wireless is that you can put them wherever you want as long as you can plug them into an outlet. Now I wasn't quite sure if this setup was gonna work for my living room since I need the front and center channels to fit all on my mantle, but to my surprise, all three of them actually fit. So it basically looks like one big huge six foot sound bar under my TV. Now this isn't the most ideal layout for sound dispersion and it did widen the soundstage a bit when I stood the front channels up on their sides, but laying them down was a nice compromise with the wife. And the speakers do have mounts so you can wall mount them if you want. Now considering my room layout, I wasn't able to do this so I did kind of just put them wherever I could to test them out. And the setup process was fairly simple. You just download the Enclave app and it walks you through the process. So I got the hub and all the speakers plugged into the outlets around the room and connected the hub to the ARC HDMI port on the TV. Now, if you have an older TV that doesn't have ARC, then you can use optical Toslink or a stereo connection. And if you want more info on the best way to connect your home theater system, I did do a video on how to connect the soundbar. So I'll throw a card up here for you to check that out. And I'll also put a link in the video description. So once I had everything connected, I fired up the Enclave app and it scanned for the hub and found it. And the hub automatically connected to all the speakers and to my surprise, the whole setup was actually up and running. And the app is nice and simple. It lets you change inputs, adjust the volume and power the hub on or off. The app also allows you to change the surround mode and even has room calibration options. So you're gonna have speaker level adjustment and speaker distance settings, which is really nice to see. So the Cinehome Pro looks nice and has a nice app, but most importantly, how does it sound? Well, looking at the build quality of these speakers and considering the fact that they call it the soundbar killer, I had high hopes for this system and I have to say that it didn't let me down. The very first thing I did was load up my favorite test scene, which is the scene from Iron Man 3 where they destroyed Tony Stark's house. So I grabbed my TV remote, which worked perfectly to control the speaker volume thanks to the ARC connection. And of course I cranked the speakers all the way up and long before I got the volume all the way up, it was way more than loud enough for any room. I got you. I got you first. Like I said, 
to the cathedral. Not only is it crazy loud, but there was very little clipping, and even at full volume, I could still hear all the small details like crumbling rocks, flying rockets, and background music. And it was so loud that my wife called me during my testing from upstairs, concerned that I was literally gonna go deaf and demanded that I turn it down. And the only adjustment that I made to the speakers was to turn the subwoofer all the way up since I personally prefer a lot of bass. Now the sub does put out a good amount of bass, but me being a bass head, I did want it to be a tiny bit louder at times. But what I will say is that it matched the volume of the speakers perfectly. And what's really awesome about this system is that it actually allows you to add additional subwoofers up to four to be exact. And considering that I'm a two subs kind of guy, I'll definitely be reaching out to Enclave for another sub to make my wife even happier. So I also like to listen to music in my living room, so of course I had to test that out. So I listened mostly to hip hop and I was really impressed by how well the system handled music. The whole room stereo mode is great for music and it filled the room better than any sound bar I've heard. All right, so clearly I'm impressed with this system, but there had to be some things I didn't like, right? Well, of course there are a few things, but they're not really that bad. The very first thing is that it doesn't come with a remote. Now, considering the $1,600 price tag of this system, I would have expected to see at least a cheap credit card style remote. Now, I understand that they assume you're gonna connect it through HDMI so you can just use your TV remote, and of course you can use the app, but I still feel like I wanted to see a remote. Now the hub does at least have an IR sensor which allows you to use a universal remote if you have one. The other thing to consider is that this system doesn't have Wi-Fi. This means it doesn't support any home assistant control or music streaming other than Bluetooth. Now if you have a smart TV then of course you can easily access the apps on the TV and still play them through the system, but it is still something that should be mentioned. And my last concern is the audio format support. So this system only supports Dolby Pro Logic, Dolby Digital Plus, and DTS Digital Surround. Being priced at $1,600, I would have definitely liked to see Dolby True HD and DTS HD support. Considering how great the system sounds, I would imagine it would sound even better with lossless audio. But other than those minor complaints, I really do like this system. If you're looking for something that's better than most soundbars and you don't have the space for a full home theater setup, or you can't run wires, then this is a fantastic option. This is my first experience with the Wiser system, and I have to say that I'm thoroughly impressed with it. I didn't notice any lag, and all the speakers work perfectly without any issues, even though they're completely wireless. And not only was this system just as easy to set up as a soundbar, but it sounds absolutely amazing. I guess my hunt for a new living room home theater setup is finally over. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.